Hi everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. Are you a teacher or an online course creator and want to create a quiz that will check your student's knowledge? If yes, then you are in the right place. In today's video tutorial we will introduce you the Quizmaker plugin negative marking feature, which is truly a game changer you have been waiting for. With the negative marking feature you will be able to deduct points for each wrong answer the quiz taker provided. Let's create a quiz together to achieve this result. In order to create a quiz with a negative marking feature, you will need to have the Quizmaker plugin installed on your WordPress dashboard. As you can see, I have already installed the plugin so as not to waste your time. The first step to create a quiz with a negative marking feature is to create questions of the quiz. And for that, we head to the questions page. Here we need to add new questions. We click on the add new button. Here we need to write the question and the answers accordingly. For example, have you. Here we need to write the answer options. We add a new answer option here and write like this. The correct answer is the first one, so we tick here. By this, we choose to display this option as a correct one on the front end. It's time to apply points to the answer options. So, as the first answer option is correct, we apply one here. By this, the users will get one point for the correct answer for this question. As the remaining answer options are incorrect, we need to add a negative marking to the remaining answer options. For example, we can set like this. With the following settings configuration, the users will get one point for the correct answer and minus one point for each incorrect answer. That means if the users answer incorrectly to the question, one point will be deducted from the overall points. Once we set answer options, we can go ahead and configure the other settings like question category, question text, etc. Let's imagine you are trying to create a quiz in which decimal numbers will be deducted for each incorrect answer. The Quizmaker plugin gives this possibility as well, so we will create a new question with decimal numbers as negative marking. We click on a save and new button. Here we need to add answer options and question accordingly. Here is our question. And here we need to add answer options, like this. So the correct answer option is the first one again. For example, we decide to add two points for this correct answer. The quiz taker will get two points for answering correctly to this question. And here we can set decimal numbers as negative marking, for example like this, minus 0.5. Also we can set the numbers like this, As you can see, you can add any decimal number you prefer. For example, if the quiz taker chooses the second answer option, minus 0.5 points will be deducted from the overall points. We need to save the changes and go on to the next question. You will need to repeat the steps for all the remaining questions. Once we are done with the settings configuration of all our questions, we need to create a new quiz. For that, we go to the quizzes page and add a new quiz. Here you can add a quiz image based on your preferences and what is important is to add questions. To add questions to the quiz we need to hit the add questions button here and choose our desired questions, for example these two ones. Once the questions are added to the quiz we head to the result settings tab here we need to pay attention to the calculate the score option. This is the most important part of creating a quiz with a negative marking. Here we need to choose by weight points for the calculate the score option. 
Once you tick the by weight points checkbox for the method of calculation, the points will be calculated based on the answers points and the questions points. Also, we need to tick by weight points checkbox for the display score option. As we want to display the score at the end of the quiz, we untick the height score option. So we have discussed the basic features you can enable for the quiz. Let's discuss some advanced features and functionalities the plugin offers to create an educational quiz. By enabling these options, you can display more professional and advanced quiz on the front end. As we are on a results settings tab, we will start from here. For example, we can tick show question results on a results page option. By this, we will display the question results on the front end on a results page. If you are creating an educational quiz, you can have a minimum passing score for the quiz. And here you can find the quiz pass message and quiz fail message options. Also, you can customize the result message option in a way you prefer and you can add message variables there. Then we head to the settings tab. Here you can add the enable randomized answers and enable randomized questions options. By this you will minimize the chance of cheating by the quiz takers. Here you can see the enable question bank option. To have an advanced quiz on a front end you can display the questions by categories. By scrolling down a little bit we will see show correct answers option. By taking this option, you will show the correct and incorrect answers during passing the quiz. Then we head to the user data tab and enable the information form option if you want to collect data from your users, for example name, email, gender and any custom field you prefer. Also, as you are creating an educational quiz, you can go to the email and certificate tab, tick the send email to user and of course send certificate to user options to send certificates and email with results after the quiz completion. It's high time to display our quiz on the front end, so we go to the general tab. By scrolling down a little bit, we will see the create post for quiz option, we tick it, then save the changes. After saving the changes, we scroll down a little bit and here we can see that the system has already created a post with the quiz shortcode inserted in it. All we need to do is to click on the view post button to see our quiz on the front end. Here is our quiz displayed on the front end. Let's pass it to see the result. We click on a start button and fill in the necessary fields. Then we click on the next button and fill in the question options. Here we click on a see result button. That's all. Stay tuned for more informative videos. Bye!